What's going on, uh, everybody? I'm Austin Lindsay, along here with the rest of my fellow classmates and group members in our senior project, uh, Trey Meadows, Jakari Pruitt, and Amaris Hodge. And we're just first impressions. We're excited that it's finished, and we're excited. It's been a long time coming, a uh, 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 course load work of over two semesters. We started out with the research part of it, as you know, and then we got into the, the project-based side of it and figuring out uh, how we want to shoot this thing. Um, just starting off from the beginning of the semester, just uh, last year, uh, in the fall semester, um, we simply had a different way of how we want to go about it. And it simply uh, came about really with the research part of it. I think that the research part was a, a fundamental part for us because it allowed us to find who we exactly needed to talk to and narrow down those things. Uh, with the research part of it, it allowed us to talk to a professor uh, across the pond in, in uh, Casas Kara, Georgia. And that's something that we never probably would have got to if we never had did the research part of it. So the research part was very highly fundamental for us. And it was it was uh, truly needed. And I think that was a huge plus for our project and allowed us to move the way that we did move on that side of things. And we faced challenges, of course. But I think that one thing about our group that was well rounded was that we were able to be adaptive, even though we may not have always had the right things uh, in our corner, we found ways to be adaptive and adjust to those things. And I think that was a huge plus. And I think that's for any project that you go about, you have to be able to adapt because the things and how you want to go about them sometimes don't change. I mean, sometimes they do change. But for the most part, I think we stuck to the plan. We had a plan going into it. I think one of the things that did kind of we faced challenging wise was the time with the senior project. We had a, a total of uh, we were set for the total of about 10 to 15 minutes or so, whatever the time was. But we went up and beyond that. But that was kind of hard for us to narrow down because we had so much information to talk about with our project being based on how music uh, affects the athlete and motivates them. So that was one of the truly uh, hard things about it. But first off, like I said, I want, I'm just thankful that we got it done and, and just applaud everybody that assisted along the way. It was, um, we never even thought that some of the things that we did were able, we were going to be able to do. And I think that was a huge plus going from the School of Music, uh, from them helping us out and allowing them to uh, let us shoot music, to interviewing uh, Nicholas Serraldo in the School of Music and Dr. Higa in the School of Music. And I think one thing that did help us was that uh, I had the kind of connection and ability to work with the Student Media Center and, and grab some of those footages from the band uh, and stuff like that to put in there. And then us traveling places. We actually travel um, not just in the Hasburg area, we try, travel outside of it too. So I think that was one of the great things that uh, allowed us to do was traveling and stuff. And if we were to able to expand it, it's a lot of ways that we can go with this project. But now I've talked enough, I'll hand it over to you, Trey. Yeah, um, like first of all, I just think we all should give each other a round of applause, like real quick. Like, man, it's been a journey from what we started with to now. I would have never imagined it either. And it's just it's just amazing. Like the range of these interviews we got. Um, from Costas to Jeremiah, Seraldo, Higa, like this is a wide range. And I think that's also a beautiful thing to have. But um yeah, it started off we started off with a different plan and it eventually changed. But I guess that's normal coming like what a broad topic is ours. But uh, we pulled through at the end, and most importantly, everybody stuck to their role. Nobody was in each other's way. We all stuck to what we were good at. Um, narration turned out great. I was I had really fun with that. We had to redo it a good amount of times, but we got it done at the end of the day. So um, I'm gonna pass it on to Mark. Um. So. For our project, we did really well. We got really good feedback from um, Dr. Sheffer after we submitted the first time. The only thing that we really needed to change was like a couple of things with like, um, for legal reasons, because we did take some clips from YouTube and we had to make sure that we properly credited them and we had to make some adjustments to the sound and things like that. Um, after that, we didn't really have much to like do after 
talking with Dr. Sheffer, but we went ahead and did like some things for content rollout because we want, although we spent, because we spent so much time on this project, we don't just want it to just be put out and placed on YouTube. We wanted to like actually get attention and make sure that we all can like gain something in, in careers out of this project. All right, and um, uh, I'm Yukari. I'm the audio engineer behind it. And one of the biggest things I really had a problem with was getting each video to the spec that I wanted it to. Um, because like each one was shot in different environments and different fashions. So it was kind of slightly difficult for me to do that, especially in a new program, a uh, program that was new to me, because usually I'm used to Pro Tools, but I had to go out and kind of learn Premiere Pro kind of on the spot. However, I think I did transfer over pretty nicely. I did figure out what I can do to um, make the best possible outcome or what I think is the best possible outcome for the audio side. As far as setting up, most of that was pretty cut and dry. Um, everything was pretty straightforward as far as that went, setting up the microphones, figuring out what's the best position and figuring out what's the best ones to use. That was fairly easy and setting up for you know the correct volume whenever I'm connecting it to a for, ah, connected it to a camera, for instance, that was pretty um easy. So I guess the hardest part was just the post, the post edits, due to the fact that it was just different environments and um you know different types of audios because of that. And uh, that's all I have. Thank you. Um, that has been uh, Austin Lindsay, Trey Meadows, Yakari Pruitt, and Amaris Hodge as uh, we kind of wrap up and just talk about our senior project um, as it is entitled Tones by Tunes. And we can't wait for everybody to view it on Tuesday at uh, Keg and Barrel. So uh, we're just proud of ourselves and just thankful for the hard work that we put in and just appreciate everybody once more. So without further ado, that has been it uh, for the group. And we'll see you all on Tuesday.